Hey guys, Redneck Customs here. All right, well, here's our new project. It is a 1990 Snapper LT1838 hydrostatic. Um, it's either got a 12.5 or a 16, I can't remember. Uh, overhead valve, Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, now here's the plan. Well, a little history on it first. Now, you see that trailer over yonder? I've seen this lawnmower sitting there a couple weeks, and I just finally went over and I was like, how much you want for it? Um, whether it runs or not, I, I, I can fix it. Um, she said 50 bucks, so I gave her 50 bucks, and... Well, no, I didn't give her $50. Um, it was actually for my mom and stepdad. I was going to fix it up for them. That's still the plan, but I guess they're looking into getting a new lawnmower, so this might end up mine. I don't know yet, but anyhow, um, I said, I'll give you 50 bucks for the damn thing, we'll get it running, we'll cut the grass with it, and, uh, well, I got it running, and it ran for about 20 minutes, and it didn't shut off, we shut it off, but after we shut it off, and it was surging while it was running, but that's a carburetor problem, um, when we shut it off, we couldn't get it to start back up, all I wanted to do was, wah, 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 you know, just turn over and click, and, and you know, after researching a few problems and uh just asking around we we've, we've came to the conclusion that it is a camshaft compression release so what we're going to do is we're going to drain the oil we're going to take the engine off flip it upside down and put it on the atv rack take all the bolts out crack the case pull the camshaft out and uh, see if i'm praying that it's just kind of froze up or maybe we can loop it up and make it work again. And uh, if that's the case, then, uh, I mean, we're fire. We're ready to ride. Pull it out, lube it up, break it loose, let it ride, throw it back in, put the case back on. I'm not ordering a gasket for it. Um, like I said uh, in a previous video, I'm probably just going to end up getting another used engine to put on it. And I will not throw this one away. Because it's not seized up, it will, it does run, um, but I'll probably just end up sometime later on down the road completely rebuilding this entire engine. Um, and actually, that's what I want to do. I want to just tear. It, I just want. I want. I'm going to rebuild the entire thing. But anyhow, guys, that's the plan. We're going to drain the oil, unbolt the engine, flip it upside down, crack the case, take the camshaft out, and I will give you all videos throughout the entire process so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe we'll catch you in a few